Let's return to the story that we've broken just the past hour. The Dutch crime reporter Peter R. de Vries has died. He had been shot in Amsterdam last week. The 64-year-old journalist was known for investigating organised crime. He was shot minutes after leaving a television studio just on Tuesday where he had appeared on a chat show. Well, let's cross over to speak to our correspondent in Amsterdam, Anna Holligan, who joins us live now. So, Anna, there was an awful lot of shock after the shooting last week, and now this sad news confirmed. Confirmed the, the family's very worst fears, but not just the family. This was one of the most acclaimed journalists here in the Netherlands, um, Peter R. de Vries made his name in the early 1980s, covering the kidnapping of Freddie Heineke, the, the beer magnet. But then he specialised in helping with cold cases, so solving child murders, disappearances. And I was at the scene uh, last week, shortly after he was shot outside the television studio around 7.30 local time, so in daylight. Um, he became the very the victim of what he had spent his life reporting on and being involved in uh, assisting those who were involved in the investigations and that kind of thing. And, and down at the scene uh, where he was shot in the head multiple times, um, people had travelled all over from the Netherlands, actually, to, to lay flowers and messages of support for him and his his family and in fact we've had um, a statement from Peter R. Vries's family uh, they say Peter fought to the end but was unable to win the battle he is surrounded by the people who love him he was when he died he lived by his conviction they say on bended knee is no way to be free and there has been a lot of discussion here in the Netherlands uh, since his shooting about the amount of security he had whether it should have been more but he absolutely said he would rather stand and fight than be hiding in a corner for his life and and that is the way that he has passed away the family have uh, now asked for privacy as they make arrangements for his funeral and it absolutely, when the shooting happened, it shocked the nation. So many messages of condolences, the royal family talking about their deep shock and uh, how journalists must be free to carry on with their work. I guess with, with his death now, this conversation will reignite again. It will be amplified, absolutely, and in the context of journalists being uh, attacked elsewhere too. And in terms of the... The suspicion, the motive, well, two men were arrested shortly after the shooting. One 21-year-old uh, from Rotterdam uh, and a 35-year-old Polish man who is suspected of being the getaway driver. Um, and there has been uh, speculation that it may have been linked to Peter Arda Fries's role as a confidant, an advisor to a key prosecution witness in a large-scale drug trafficking and murder trial here in the Netherlands. And the investigation, of course, is ongoing. But Absolutely. The Dutch Prime Minister, uh, the King even of the Netherlands, have spoken of their support for Peter R. de Vries and the work that he was trying to do, um, not just covering crime as an investigative port reporter. He was uh, an Emmy Award winning reporter for his work on cold cases too, but he really, the way that most people here are remembering him at the moment is for his humanity. Anna, thank you so much for talking us through that on the very sad day that Peter Ardefries has died nine days after being shot. Anna Holligan in The Hague, thank you.